I finally lifted it up. It's a 124 scale Chevy Silverado. You can buy on eBay for like $50. And I finally, I didn't make a video of me lifting it, but I'm finna explain how I did it. Cause there's no, so this is compared to my hand, how big it is. There's no video on the internet that tell you how to um, lift it. This model right here. So these are the tires that came on it. I ordered some more aftermarket wheels on on eBay, it's the same rims I got. I'm gonna spray them with with this right here, with this paint, this chrome. I'm gonna pop up a picture of what my truck look like. If you never seen my truck, but my whole page it trucks and dirt right. So if you just scroll on my page, you'll see what my truck look like. But these are the wheels. They came with it. And so how I lifted it up. First, you take the bottom off. You take it, you take the whole thing off. You take the screws out of this, the one, two, three, the three screws out. The bottom is gonna come off. So they're gonna be a screw that's inside of here and here. I use a Q tip, I cut it in half and stuck it inside the hole to where I wanted it. And then I found the height that I want. It's it's a little wobbly, but it ain't like I'm pushing, gonna be pushing it around. It's just gonna be sitting inside my truck. So that's how I did that. I put it back. I cut the hole. I, I um the screws that go inside this hole. If you get a Q-tip, stick it up in there. A, cut a Q-tip to the side you want it, and this would be for like the out the, the back shocks. So this is what the backs look like. The Q-tips inside of there. The part with the cotton on it is the part I stuck inside of here. Cut it, and I stuck inside this part because it feel like it gripped it better. So I left like a little fine pieces on there. I didn't strip it bare. And for the front, I had to take this out. This goes in the inside. Take it out, put the bottom back on, and put this on the outside of it. And the screws that hold it on. The screws that hold the back on back here, I put those on the front up here and screwed it in upside down. So now you can see I screwed it in right there. And then I had to take the, I had to take it off. Well, I got, I got to take the tie off anyway. So that's how you lift it up. I would take it apart, but I'm not. Cause I'm finna paint them. Now I'm finna I'm paint the rims, paint them chrome, and then I'm paint the tires black. So let's get at it. That's what I mean about the Q-tips. And it's upside down. Now I'll go from the bottom. So those are sprayed a little light coat on them. I, know, I didn't think of this set up before. I need the tires, but I just found a box. So yeah, that's time for the rims. I'm gonna spray the rims. And this chrome, paint match chrome. So Yeah, that shit came out 
Zu gut für alles. Alright, that's the first coat. So, gonna let that dry. And then I'll come back and do the second coat. All right, so the wheels are finished. So I already tried to press one in the and I already sprayed the second coat, but I forgot that these are thicker than the coating is thicker. So it's kind of hard to push them on. So I'm gonna find something to push this down with without breaking the, the rim. Cause I already broke one already earlier, but I, I cracked it. I didn't break it. Well, I broke a spoke off right there. So I don't want to break them. So I'm going to find something I can use to flatten this down in there. Or I might just get some sandpaper and sand the inside of the rim a little bit. And the axle, I got the front, I mean the back, the rear axle. You see the Q-tips. I how I stuck them in. Stick Q-tips down inside of there. And stick them inside of the the axle holes right there. So long you take this boat off, this boat off, and this boat off, the bottom will come out. And you just take this all this goes in the inside. You take this out the inside of it and put on it and put the bottom back on. And then put this on the outside. It lift it up. It get a six inch sort of look to it. Or what I was going for. So we're gonna um, figure out a way to get these tires on. And like I said, I don't plan on the truck rolling, so I'm gonna super glue onto the um, onto the axle right here on the edges. So let me find something to use to smush this down with. Find a way to do it. Okay. Yeah, use some sandpaper, sand out the inside a little bit, and then wipe it out. I got a rag over here. Wipe out the arm, um, wipe the inside out from the sand part. Use some WD-40, a little squirt, a little squirt. Put your fun in it, just a little dab. Rub it in the inside, a light coat. Just all you did do, a light coat. Once you put a light coat on there, you get your rim and you press it in. Way much easier than the first one I tried. So do that and it's gonna go on. So now it's time to put them on the truck and see what it looks like. I can't remember which one I had on what. So I'm just gonna test spit them all. Fit on there. It ain't the one I had on there either. I had. I should have drilled my holes out better than what I did. Put my bottom back on. Bottom goes like this. Make sure it's even. It looks even. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't 
Alright. I finished it. I had to open the wheel up a little bit. But that's it right there. So I gotta put the red on the front right here.